Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. Stop! Don't open it! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, number. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life! Get your hands off him! Ah, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Put up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Don't try to stop me, Namba-san. Stop you? Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass! Go <laughs> on, Namba! This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore! <laughs> All right, let's do this! Get this shit over with! I'm not a loser! Fight, I'll help the boy. Check this out. Yeah. I got this. Watch this. Have fun with this. Check 
You know I'm in the Yokohama Leomang? You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great, but you talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'd give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese Mafia in Yokohama! Trust me, your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming! Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking... No, seriously, when should we expect them? When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? 
How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. Namba, I'll deal with your panty ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Shut up. This isn't even Liu Mang turf. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go! Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would ya? That was way out of line. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. Ah, I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And <laughs> hey... I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. We should be thanking you. Ugh, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. 
Well, I never thought about it like that before. So, hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? shoes left with foreigners on a steamship from So oh, here we go. The Jenga was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Lyumon. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, the Komichu. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu Clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance. You kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in the Ijin show? <laughs> the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Ejin Three offer the town protection from outside forces, in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people from... getting over this wall? Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. Guess you could call this a cold war. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, Cold War is like a powder keg. Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So... As long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. They can all be pretty vicious. The city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Ejin Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? <laughs> Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Everyone knows that. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. It's 
scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, uh, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. That was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. I guess. I don't know how long I can just hang around and eat Gene Show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration. that shit hide it Ichiban why uh, did you see that that was a 10,000 yen bill yeah yeah yeah, yeah. hey hey uh, 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 calm down hey hey look I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day you're talking out your ass it's Ichiban's money what actually I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine! Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you Kichi Chan, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. The back of it is blank, but I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? No, oh, dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Oh, what? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spent it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait, wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill is a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it too? But look, it doesn't. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. 
I don't know why I got dumped here, and I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse <laughs> to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing. Throw it away and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Uh, Nanbasan, don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. You take it easy, I won't start any more trouble. We good? Shouldn't stay here. But I thought you had nowhere else to go. I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? I mean, there's got to be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just got to be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man, easier said than done. Listen up, everyone! Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys! Why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? Sounds like a big fat no, but you're all perfectly healthy. I've seen some of you build shit. I've seen some of you cook. You have skills, so why aren't you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it. Come on. You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you. <coughs> Shut the fuck up. Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? You said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on, you still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? Uh. And some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids, hoping we'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. 
Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to Hello Work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> you think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living, man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here, lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? <sighs> it doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So, I'll come with you to Hello Work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter.